Hey everyone, today we are going to make a 2 times coins game pass for our speed simulator. Now I've got a few game passes planned. I'm going to do 2 times coins, 2 times speed, uh 2 times coins, 2 times points and 2 times uh rebirths. They're the three I think I've got planned. I can't actually remember, but in today's video we're going to make a 2 times coins game pass. So to get started we're going to create the actual pass, go under to your place and under associated items we're going to click on passes and click create a pass. Now it's very similar to creating a developer product, you will actually have a default image for a uh, game pass compared to a developer product. You can change this if you'd like but I'm just going to leave it as it is and I will name this uh, 2 times coins. And the description is going, now you'll see that there isn't a price, we'll come to that in a minute. The description is going to be, with this game pass, uh, you will receive a double coin bonus or something like that. I'm just going to leave my blank, but you can come up with whatever you'd like. And I'm going to hit create pass. Now what we need to do is put this on for sale. Now we have to make this public because when we're testing, of course we need to actually be able to get the game pass. Uh, otherwise it will say that this game pass is not um, being sold or something like that. So to make it public just click on it and you can go under sales, item for sale, tick that and make the price whatever you'd like. I'm going to make my price for example 25 Robux and hit save changes. We can now go back to associated items and we are actually done with the game pass. We will come back to it um, because we're going to need the ID so I will just leave this open Okay, so here we are in the project. I'm going to make our game pass shop first of all uh, under the background and the scrolling frame where we've got our template game pass. I will rename this to uh, Double Coins, and we're going to change the name to be uh, Two Times Coins. The price I think we set to 25 Robux. You can make that whatever you'd like, uh, and the description. The description will make. Um, with this game pass you will receive a permanent two times coins boost okay now under our game pass shop gui we're going to add in a local script and this is going to be our local game pass handler this will be the local one we will have a service uh, script as well but for now we're going to focus on the uh, button presses and things like that. So first of all, we need to say local marketplace service equals game colon get service marketplace service because of course we need to get the marketplace service. We have to do that all the time. Whether that's a uh, game product, uh, game passes, sorry, developer products, um, third party sales, avatar, just anything like that. We have to use marketplace service. Next, what we'll do is we we'll basically grab a list of variables which lead to our purchase buttons. So we'll have a local background equals script dot parent dot background. Um, in fact we could actually use wait for child colon wait for child background. Now what wait for child will do will um, wait until the background has loaded in before it runs any other code essentially. Now we can get a local coins game pass equals background dot scrolling frame dot double coins uh, and what we want to do is actually get the text button so uh, don't what is it called on here it's called dot purchase dot text button so this will be our coins game pass button so what we will also do is say local player equals game dot players dot local player because it's always useful to have the player in your local script now we'll get our game passes so we'll have a local coin game pass ID equals, and for now I'll set it to a bunch of zeros. And we need to say coins game pass button dot mouse button one click colon connect function. And in here we're going to prompt the purchase. So to do this we'll have to say local success comma error message equals p call function. And in here we'll say has pass equals uh, marketplace service colon user owns game pass at sync player dot user ID comma and then we want the coin game pass ID and I sorry I just realized I've used PLR for short now what we say is if has pass is uh, true 
then we uh, will print player already owns the game pass uh, and nothing there's nothing that we will do or in fact we could change the text to say um, we could change the text of the button to say already owned so we could say uh, coins game pass button dot text equals already owned or something like that just so the user knows they already own the game pass and then we'll say else so if the game pass isn't owned we want to prompt the purchase so to do this we'll say marketplace service colon prompt uh, game pass purchase Passing in the player and the game pass ID, so coin game pass ID, and that is basically it. Now, to get rid of this error here, if you hover over it, it says it's only using the enclosing function. Uh, so we need to say local has pass at the top, and then uh, we can get rid of that because what it means is we are creating has pass in uh, a local scope. So by just creating a variable at the top of the function, or the method, uh, we are eliminating that problem. Now coming back over to this screen here, I'm going to copy the two times coins game pass ID by clicking the three dots and copy asset ID. And we can then paste that into this coin game pass ID here. And close up this script. So you see now if we hit test and play, when we hit this here, it actually says already owns the game pass because uh, we do we've created the game pass so we own it. There's nothing we can do about that I'll show you how to test the prompt in a minute now to actually apply this boost uh, What we're going to do is under our exchange coins script uh, Under the exchange coins function. Well first of all right at the top. We need local marketplace service equals game colon get service marketplace service once again and um in this exchange uh, script here, when we are adding the points, we need to say if marketplace service colon user owns game pass as sync, uh, passing in the player dot user ID and the ID of the game pass. So then, and what we want to do is add the points again a second time. And this will give us double points. That is how this works. So we're going to add the points. Then if they have the game pass, the two times uh, coins game pass, we're going to add the points again. So if you add something one time, then add it again. You've added it twice. That's doubling the points. That's how this will work. So now see if we hit play, we will already own the game pass. So that is how we will be able to test that this actually works. So let's close the game pass shop. So you'll see we have got... Uh, it helped. I'm just going to reset all of my stats to a somewhat... Uh, default setting I um, can't I don't really know why I've got so much um, coins and stuff I don't remember so we just set our coins to zero so you'll see as we exchange so we have uh, 10 points so we should get 20 coins with this game pass and we do you see it takes a little while but that's because uh, the system has to process that they've got the game pass once they've done it once it'll be it'll do it like basically every time you'll see if we get 10 again and then stand on it you'll see it goes up to 74 pretty much straight away or 78 even and yeah you can see it works uh, once it it'll take a little while the first time but once it's done it it won't keep constantly um, taking ages there's just that first time there might be a second or so delay and then it'll do it each time so that is perfect. We know the game pass is actually working. If we were to s stop and play again, we know it would still work because it's an if statement. Now, the problem comes with actually prompting the purchase because we've made it. Unless it's a group project, uh, we already own it. If it's a group project, you will not actually own it straight away. So you won't have to worry about this next part. Okay, so to deal with um, not actually owning the pass but still testing it without having to rebuy it and delete it and whatnot, uh, if you go under test um, and make this uh, local server up here and just set it to one player, you only need to test it with one, and then hit start, it will, might take a little while to load, but it's going to load up a server, which it has here, and it's going to load up a player. Now you are interested in the player. So here we go, and what this is is just basically a player. It'll have your skin or whatever, your avatar, but it is just a player with a new save profile. So I can now hit game passes. Um, 
if I was to actually go and sell now quickly, uh, just so I can demonstrate this. So you see, I've got 36 coins. I've just redeemed some. Um, we've got, uh, so 36 coins. How many points do we get when we touch the pad? So we had 12 and we now have 48. So that is adding one. We can now hit game passes, hit purchase, and it prompts it. You'll see it's the right price and it's the right title. So that's now succeeded. We click it again. It's prompting it again, but that's because um, what this is is when you basically buy a game pass in Roblox Studio, the game pass doesn't actually last. It is just a very temporary split second thing and then it will go again just for the sake of prompting, testing the prompt to the purchase. So one, now that we've purchased it once, in real Roblox, this will not happen again. You can only buy a Game Pass once. That is just a Roblox thing. It's nothing to do with the way you script. So don't worry if it keeps saying buy again. You can only buy this once. Roblox will deal with that on their side. You have you don't have to worry about any scripting here. So that will then say already owned as we see. And it will only give us uh, one coin because it removes the Game Pass as soon as we buy it. But we know from testing it on our account where we have the Game Pass that it works. And that is it. Now what I'm going to do is actually uh, close the Game Pass background. Let's quickly make that invisible. So you know that that works now. That is our two times coins Game Pass done. Uh, in the next video, I think we'll do two times rebirths. And then we'll build our way up to the final Game Pass video I have planned, which will be two times speed or two times points or something like that. So thanks for watching this video everyone, I hope you found it helpful, if you did please leave it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.